She is the law professor from Harvard. Hello, New York! The senator who has Wall Street and big business in her gun sights. No more business as usual. Let's attack corruption head on. You ready? The woman whose prospects of reaching the White House are unexpectedly soaring. Where we actually involve members of the community. We caught up with Elizabeth Warren in a small, blighted neighborhood in South Carolina. With all the different folks that have an impact. No big crowds here. Just a presidential candidate working hard the old-fashioned way. Walking the streets. Oh. Listening to residents. Sitting on porches. And trying to win one vote at a time. Tell me a little bit about this. But is she too far to the left to win the presidency? It's a question I put to her directly. I mean, what do you say to moderate Democrats who love your blizzard of ideas, your plans, your Good. campaign here <laughs> about environmental justice, but worry that you're just too radical to win the American heartland? I, I don't think it's radical to talk about not leaving any community behind, not leaving any worker behind. We are an America who can lead the world on cleaning up this earth. This is the most urgent crisis facing us. This really is the, the moment. I think this is the fundamental question in 2020. Who does your government work for? It's been working for a long time for those at the top. I think 2020 is our chance to make it work for everyone else. It's Elizabeth Warren. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. You're She's running a savvy and populist campaign. <laughs> often making fundraising calls from her kitchen. I thought I'd bring the two guys in my life, Bruce and Bailey. And her dog Bailey is one of the viral stars of her huge social media push. I grew up out in Oklahoma. She spent her childhood in middle America, her family facing financial hardship. Tough years that she says taught her about adversity and the need for a level playing field for American workers. I am sorry that I extended confusion about tribal citizenship. At some points in her life, she has claimed Native American heritage, identifying as a Cherokee Indian, acknowledging now that was not accurate. And Pocahontas is not happy. She's not but it has allowed President She's Trump to give her a mocking nickname that haunts her campaign to this day. Pocahontas, that's this Elizabeth Warren. In battleground territory like this, Warren's new status as a national frontrunner is both a blessing and a curse. It helps her with fundraising and a profile, but it also paints a target on her back, both for the president and for her Democratic Party rivals. The next president of the United States of America! The question is whether this country is ready for the academic who is vowing to confront the corporate world and to tax the rich. Get ready, because change is coming faster than you think. Now it is prime time for Warren. As we saw, she is facing ever greater scrutiny as she vows to take America on a radical journey towards greater equality. Robert Moore, News at 10, South Carolina.